On Fresh TV, Tony reels in a homegrown star for a catch and cook off. Well played. Rob tackles the ultimate burger. How am I going to eat this? It's as big as my head. And there's still time for spring chicken with this spicy creation from Rianne. Well, I'm covered for dinner. Welcome to Fresh TV and Miles, it must be nice to be back on solid ground. You know what, that has to be one of the most exhilarating experiences of my life, jumping out of a plane. 13,000 feet, unbelievable. Okay. Tell you what, this week I'll go off on the adventure, you stay here and think of something to... Another road trip, huh? Yes, another road trip. I'm off to the Ferguson Valley. You okay. might not have heard of the Ferguson Valley, but it's a really nice little spot. There's a lot to be discovered, and I'm going to do some taste testing. Sounds good. We'll save some room for food. I've got some fresh Albany asparagus. I'm going to cook up something light, something fresh, something summery. Weather's turn. Come back and we'll eat outside. Okay, sounds good. See you then. Have fun. Well, I'm here at Rotto and looking for a really great burger. And I'm told the Govs Bar is the place to find one. I, how am I going to eat this? It's as big as my head. It, it's going to get pretty messy too, I reckon. So perhaps you can take the napkin away and bring me back a bed shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Righto, I'm going to give it a manful go. Well. One of the great things about a burger is, which we don't really do a lot in Australia, is ordering a burger medium rare or medium or even rare if you like it. Most burger joints in this country won't do it. These guys do. So if you want your burger medium rare, this is the place to come to. And they make their own patties here. There's no frozen brought in product. But the greatest challenge of this burger <laughs> is getting it in your mouth. Uh, here goes. That is so good. Bacon, egg, cheese, patty, lettuce, tomato, and um, caramelised onions. Come on. <laughs> all homemade, all beautiful. But that burger patty is a rock star, it really is. So loving that, that's a proper burger. Cameron, epic burger, mate. Is this your idea? Uh, no, it's not as it was the head chef's, but uh, I will sort of uh, make it as we can and then make it look awesome. And the other kind of food you do here, you've got, we tried your pizza too. Yeah. Awesome. And you do a lot of good pub favourites, don't you? Yeah, we do. We've got palmies on specials and stuff like chicken schnitzels, um, pasta dishes, yeah. Pretty much pub favourites, which everyone loves. Cameron, I have to ask you the question. It splits families, quite frankly. Are you a beetroot guy or a non-beetroot guy on a burger? When it comes to burgers, no, it's just too messy. But I love beetroot. You know that's un-Australian, don't you? Yeah, I do. Cameron, thanks very much, mate. Thank You're you. a real sport. No problem, thanks a lot. That was a great burger. I need a sleep. Yep. Beast. How are you, Jordan? Have hey, you got any asparagus? Yeah, we do. Yep. The uh, asparagus is good at the moment. It's uh, local stuff. Local produce, eh? Yeah, local produce. Uh, one of our growers down in Albany actually does this for us, and uh, it's always fresh, always tasty. And, can't go wrong with it. And it's not broccoli. <laughs> nah, it's not broccoli. It's uh, the, the very best. Thanks for that. All right. Good luck. Yep. I'll see you next time. We're, yeah. uh, we're a local supermarket. We're convenience-based. We provide fantastic service. But what we really like to try and do is differentiate ourselves as much as we can. So we're really focused on fresh food. So we love fruit and veg. We love fantastic meat. We love supporting local West Australian suppliers. So we want to be local. We want to be friendly. We want to be absolutely part of the community that we love. I reckon I've got what I need. Next on Fresh TV, the bumpy road to success for a beer buff with a dream. We've, we've got a bit of negative feedback on that first uh, first day. And the catch of the day. Oh, look at that! And the one that got away. No! <laughs> The 
Ferguson Valley's been called WA's best kept secret. And maybe it is. There's the gorgeous green countryside, lots of wineries, a couple of breweries, and some great places to eat. I'm going to check out one of them next. But first, when you drive down this way, there's a stop you just have to make. This is Gnomesville, a sprawling collection of little men, each of them placed here by tourists and visitors over the years. And as everyone leaves their mark, the colony claims more and more territory. Easily the Ferguson Valley's quirkiest and most popular tourist attraction. Today I'm in for a special treat. I'm off to Willy Bay Resort, which is near Metrica. Where's that, you ask? Well, it's between Margaret River, Dunsra and Buston. It's set on 75 acres next to the Yelverton National Park. Gita tells me there's a lot of produce growing on this property. Well, we're here at Willy Bay. We have olive grove, orchard, free roaming chooks and aquaponics. Fantastic. Now, I did hear a rumour, marin and trout? Yes, we do have plenty of marin and trout in our lake just behind you. How good is that lake? I think I'm going to have to drop a line in. Got my fishing rod. Time to go get and sell some trout. Don't mind me pulling up here, do you, mate? Oh, mate. Pull straight right. up, no worries. How's it been going for you? Getting a few? Couple of nibbles. Oh, oh look who it is! Oh, I've got a big TH! <laughs> how are hey, you, you good-looking stallion? <laughs> how are you, mate? Mate, I'm good as gold. How are you? Good, good. In I the mean, I'm catching heaps, region. mate. Catching heaps. They're huge. Unbelievable. They're where? Right. Uh, where are they? Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, <laughs> did you see that? Nah. <laughs> mate. So, I've caught up with my old mate, Lincoln Lewis, and now it's on. Who's going to catch the first fish? Mate, what are we aiming for today? At least two. At least two? You're on. There you go, back this one. Oh. Here we go. Here oh. we go. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he let go. He let go. Not a bad technique. Back to you. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> he got off! Did you get that? Did you get that? He was huge! Fishy, fishy in the brook. Come and jump on Tony's hook. Oh, look at that! Just land him, but. <laughs> Link! Hello! <laughs> no way! Look at that! Heck is Willy Bay! <laughs> Whoop! Oh, hey! I'm heading to a little haven of relaxation called the Moody Cow. It's owned and run by Grant McClintock, a bloke with a passion for home brewing who had a vision. I've been in the resources industry and, um, and it's like a security blanket, you know, it's a, a given every week that your salary goes into, um, into the bank and then, then all of a sudden at my stage of life that you're thinking, hang on a second, I'm going to chuck caution to the wind and get out there and and have a whack at it, yeah. With plans for a boutique brewery, first Grant found the perfect patch of land. Then he built the place himself from scratch. Of course that was the fun part too because you're just, you're doing it and you're not having to deal with customers. But with no experience in hospitality, running a restaurant was the big challenge. We opened in May in 2010, so yeah, that was, that was pretty nerve wracking I think. We, we got a bit of negative feedback on that first uh, first day, but we learned from that sort of thing. These days, the menu is in the safe hands of head chef Dean Shelley. It's a very country feel out here at the Ferguson. Um, I'm trying to put a bit of a spin on it, where now we're going into more share plates and uh, homemade pizzas um, coming up on the new menu. Um, so, yeah, just a lot of things that you can sort of pick and maybe eat without being too heavy. Dean, whenever I come here, I always have a really hard time choosing between these desserts. They're always really unique and different. Is this your favourite part of the job? Um, I like to dabble in desserts and using fresh produce and seasonal produce. So, uh, at the moment, I've got a blood orange cheesecake on there, blood oranges are in at the moment, um, and I've done a strudel. Yeah, just something different, I like to mix it up a little bit. I happen to do a pretty mean apple strudel myself. Oh, okay, really? Where did the recipe come from, is it? Uh... Um, a German chef gave it to me. Right. I've got raisins, 
goes to chopped apples, um, some almonds, some butter, some sugar, some cinnamon. What I do with mine, I put a little bit of um, grated orange zest in it. Oh, nice. That's, yeah, yep. that's my secret. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay, let's have a taste. <laughs> Dean does a good strudel. Grant's beer is now in demand as far away as Durian Bay. And the Moody Cow has evolved into a thriving business and a much-loved spot for a family day out. Sometimes we'll get four generations here. It'll be a little one's birthday party and there'll be, you know, dad and the granddad and the great-granddad and there'll be friends and all of that. And that's, uh, that's very rewarding. We're kicking off with our butter rub. Up next, Rianne delves into the spice rack for this Middle Eastern-inspired dish. And Tony talks Hollywood. Be heading back over to LA the start of next year. Over a freshwater feast. This segment of Fresh TV is brought to you by WA Clean Skin Cellars. Today we're going to be making a butterfly free range roast chicken with a sumac, garlic and fresh herb rub. For this recipe we'll be using one whole free range chicken, one small bunch of spring onions, one sliced red onion, a handful of fresh parsley, thyme and oregano, ripe cherry tomatoes, garlic, sumac and paprika, unsalted butter and gorgeous extra virgin olive oil. We're kicking off with our butter rub. All we need to do is get unsalted butter. Make sure it's softened, otherwise it's going to be a little bit hard to mix through later. Plenty of crushed garlic. Some regular paprika, about a teaspoon's worth. Sumac, fresh oregano, just roughly chopped. Parsley and thyme. Three herbs that are really easy to grow in your garden at home. So they're there whenever you need them. And the final ingredient, about a tablespoon's worth of fresh local olive oil. Mix it all together with a little bit of salt and pepper. And our butter rub is ready to go. So we've prepared our chicken by cutting it down the spine and then splaying it out into a butterfly shape that you can see here. This really speeds up the cooking time. From there, we've gone one step further and we've sliced through the thigh, the drumstick and the breast. And this allows the meat to cook a lot faster as well as promote even cooking right throughout the whole chicken. And now the butter rub goes over our chicken. This is kind of the messy bit, but all you need to do is just sort of pat it over, really concentrating on getting it in those cut marks just so they don't dry out. Also, the breast is the most important. If something's gonna dry out, it's gonna be that breast cut right there. We're just going to move it over to our baking dish here where we've got our sliced red onion, spring onion, our cherry tomatoes ready to go. They'll just sit, roast and keep moist underneath the chicken. From here into an oven, about 190 degrees, maybe 200 degrees um, for about 50 minutes to an hour, depending on the size of your chicken. Today's Fresh TV kitchen is found in a Peter Stannard home. And for more inspirational homes with amazing kitchens, go to stannardgroup.com.au. OK, so I'm going to make an Albany asparagus side dish, or it could be a standalone snack. I've trimmed the asparagus, I've blanched it. So I'm going to take some olive oil. I'm going to mix in some raspberry vinaigrette. Two, three tablespoons is enough. Well seasoned, salt and pepper and about a teaspoon of sugar. Now just whisk that in gently. Uh, it should start to emulsify. It'll thicken up, it'll look creamy. And I'm gonna serve it on a bed of rocket with some shaved Parmesan cheese. Very simple, very quick, very tasty. Bob's your uncle, away you go. And that is an Albany asparagus side dish. One for the chef. I'm gonna make an old school trout and marin almondine. To cook, I'm going to pop it in a pan, pan fry it with some butter, almonds, capers, and to finish off, a squeeze of lemon and fresh parsley. This is the legendary fish that I caught, isn't it? The, the one that you guys missed on the camera? Right, right. No, 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 no. that's the fish I'm eating. Damn it! <laughs> Listen, I'm... Half a chance. Has it got a bit of flavour that it's not your fish? <laughs> the only bitterness is that I lost. 
It's his well-earned, well-caught fish. That is beautiful, mate. Oh, oh cool. This yeah. is my first ever time trying marin, so this is- Oh, really? Good. Yeah. Well, I've been looking forward to trying this, and um, I'm gonna eat that. Well played. Well Legend, played. Mate. Getting fresh produce straight out of the lake. Lemons, um, like everything on the plates come from the property here. So good. That's so, you can't beat it. Honestly, you cannot beat that. I mean, I've always sort of wanted to have one of those things where someone goes, you catch it, 20 minutes later, it's on your plate and you're eating it. I've never had that before. So this is my first time doing that as well. Phew. <laughs> you beauty. <laughs> Absolute yeah. legend. Thank you, mate. Well, lad, my pleasure, I'd mate. find out more about what Lincoln's up to. Mate, so, you know, you've just finished your movie. Spin yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, just released that. So uh, now that that's all done and dusted, just waiting for the auditions to roll in and be heading back over to LA at the start of next year and get up to pilot season. I mean, as soon as I get some time off, I come straight over to WA. It's, it's paradise here. Why, why would you want to be anywhere else? It's, yeah. it's unbelievable. You guys are very lucky to live in this States. Well, mate, you're just rising yeah. up there. Like, every time I see you, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. No, and I've like, got to keep plugging away. Ev eventually, I'll be like, I used to know that. Blake, oh, I yeah, swear no, I used to know it. <laughs> I've got a bigger fish than he did. <laughs> <laughs> you snagged me, mate. You snagged me on that. That's that bit. And this is looking absolutely stunning. Now we're going to get it off the roasting pot and it's on to our plate. Beautiful. So all the veg in here, we're just going to pop on as a side for the, for the main course. The juice, though, you must keep. You can use that for a gravy a little bit later, too. Well, I'm covered for dinner. I'm going to take this and enjoy it, and hopefully I'll see you next week. Eating out this week? Stay tuned. Fresh TV's got you covered. For more great ideas and recipes, see Fresh in the Today Lift Out of the West Australian on Thursday. Need to find a bite to eat right now? Well, here's our tips for the week. If you're looking for something Asian style, try Long Chim in Perth for an authentic Thai experience. In North Perth, the old laundry bar and restaurant is a perfect summer venue, serving tapas along with modern Australian cuisine. In Fremantle, there's the Young George restaurant, another great spot for the warmer weather. Try a share plate in a relaxed bar and kitchen environment. For funky pub food in more of a rustic setting, try Three Sheets in Hillary's, casual and relaxed eating that comes highly recommended. To Bunbury and to enjoy a great meal and atmosphere, head to Oriachetti in Victoria Street for a steak or something Italian. Still in our southwest, and the Equinox in Bustleton is perfect for fine dining, right on the Bustleton foreshore. You can't do better than that. And there are our picks for the week. Enjoy. That was the adventure. Oh, it was lovely. I reckon the Ferguson Valley is going to be the next big thing for day trips out right. of Perth. Uh, southwest, good place, a great southern. Albany asparagus. Ah, so this is what you've been doing all day. You got it. Okay. Give it a go. Cool. Mm. What do you think? Mmm, zesty, it's nice. So we'll see you next week on Fresh TV. So what else did you see when you were away? Oh, there were lots of...